Now, I do add the shuffle at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end so you can get your bonus messages, and we're going to go ahead and start your message. Okay, let's start your message. Now, this is the action that needs to be taken that we are grateful for. We are grateful for the chance and the opportunity to be very talented this time, trusting our intuition, having a lot of wisdom in the situation. This is Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be successful will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it, guys. Don't give up on your dreams and hopes. Things will turn in your favor. You're very grateful for the lessons that you have learned in life and for the crafts that you know how to do, the magic, the magician, the, the wisdom, all the things that you know and you've learned over life's span of living. You do know a lot of different tasks, a lot of jobs. You are a multitasker in a sense, friends. And you can do a lot. You can manifest what it is that you want. You can manifest your dreams. You know that it takes a lot of work to make it come true. But you put in the work. You're not a good quitter. You're a go-getter. What clarifications do we need for this magician being here? Let me move this deck around where we can see it better. What is it that we need to know about this magician? Spirit guys, angels, and not. Thank you. We'll stop there. Ooh, the Five of Pentacles comes back in. It showed up in some other messages. This person's willing to meet somebody halfway. They're grateful that they have a partner that they could depend on and is there for them when they're ill and sick. This person could be injured. They could have fell on some ice or be leery that you could be falling and tripping or hurting and something could cause you to get on crutches or have to use a cane or something. And it could be around a gathering place of a church of spirituality a spirituality place a building of sorts but there's like coldness chilly there could be ice or snow that you're dealing with this person's feeling stuck and trapped they're looking for inner peace within themselves this is a two-sided sword something that's going to happen where it gets illuminated because this bonfire will come off and somebody will see somebody in a different light a different way they may see someone as being a magician and acting like they can help somebody financially and they really can't they're feeling stuck and trapped for some reason it's a stalemate and it could be with the princess of cups stalemate when it comes to a love situation this person could have had multiple partners multiple options giving their love to more than one not wanting to be committal being trapped in their heads about the thoughts that go on what is the clarification for this cup this Princess of Cups is the Page of Cups in this deck. We got the Four of Cups coming in. So this person feels remorse, regret, sorrow, sad, sadness about a cup that was offered to them. And they realize there's going to have to be transformation going on. Some kind of way of dying something off. Rebirth is going to have to happen in this situation. Something's going to have to be cut away. A way of being. And by doing this and transforming a situation of how you either accepted cups or how you offered cups, how you were very loving and giving, you may be putting that to a halt and loving yourself more. And it makes you become this chariot. You get on a high horse and you move forward. Somebody's moving on. They're letting go of something. They were in their head about this emotional turmoil, about some kind of bad cups. But they know they're going to have to let it go so that they can get victory in the situation. And you guys got four cards come out. Ooh, and it's victory in love. This is the big cup. You're waiting for that one cup. You already have, maybe have had nine cups. If the ninth cup is your cup of tea, go check out that last message because they got the ninth cup in their message. And since you're on the cusp, it could relate if you're on the cusp of Capricorn. Or just, just go watch the message. You might get something out of it, guys. But somebody here is loving themselves first. And by loving themselves first, they're going to get victory in this situation. And they're going to have their cup filled, overfilled with love and joy. And be very grateful of the new love coming in. Grateful that they had to learn the hard way by taking these false cups. And it was very disappointing. But realizing that there's going to have to be change and that somebody don't want to change their ways and if somebody don't want to change their ways the only way you can change someone is for you to change 
your environment and you leave you up and leave the situation and it causes this person to be awakened to their emotions about how deeply they do truly feel for you because they were feeling stuck in traps someone here was putting in a lot of work to meet somebody halfway they were trying to manifest a relationship with someone but somebody didn't see it like that somebody just felt like they couldn't move forward in the situation when it came to their emotions here but finally somebody puts a stop to this confusion this stalemate this not meeting not wanting to meet halfway because they are a magician and they do the transformation and they take the action to move forward and walk away from the sadness this disappointment in order to get this true love come in this person could see that you take the blindfolds off and that you do transform you take this mask off and you transform yourself by taking the action and start packing and moving and finding your own place and then they start missing you and they start the emotions start bowling in about how deep they really felt for you one of you could be living in the light and the other one could be living in the dark in the negative aspect one is more spiritual than the other there could this you could be dealing with the same person that hides behind a mask and that appears to be like a magician and they really have ill intent and they didn't really mean to fall in love but they did and they could be getting a taste of their own medicine if you up and leave it could have been a karmic situation and by you leaving you wind up being the catalyst in this person's life and it teaches them a big lesson in love a big cup of lesson of love okay now let's see what we're going to be thankful for what we're feeling at this time what are you guys feeling at this time thank you for watching this video on thanksgiving or whenever i post it whenever you watch it thank you what you're feeling at this time is sadness sorrow remorse you're thankful that you got enlightened to this heartache how this person was really being backstabbing toward you this is sorrow forgiveness and healing at this time that needs to be happening you're thankful for having learned heartache at this early stage it's not the ninth sword or the tenth sword when you make it to the ninth sword that's the rough rough patch trying to get over heartache but you realize you're starting to realize right now that somebody is not out for your good and they're starting to backstab you with these swords and you're starting to feel it it's starting to hurt a little bit and you're recognizing your emotions you are being guarded by guardian angels here in this image somebody's finally going to love themselves enough to walk away from the situation this is the 43rd card in the tarot deck the eighth card in the cups family 43 is a clarification or a sign that you're supposed to love you love yourself first love is four letters in the word love three letters in the word you so four and three is love you love yourself first guys walk away love yourself first Ooh, walk away from yep this person was in reverse from a knot of pentacles that is greedy selfish backstabbing out for no good we are getting clarifiers for this person here in a minute but they came in reverse oh and it's about heartbreak somebody here got their heart broken and we got this message the heartbreak message on the message before so check that out we got it in the grateful aspect but somebody's thankful that this person only stabbed them three times because they can let them go they're thankful for the heartache that has occurred in this situation why is this pentacle the king of pentacles here why is the king of pentacles here this person's greedy selfish out for no good so it's out for themselves basically and i don't see that card right there so your message is that yeah, that person had to do a major recall a rebirth a death kill off some kind of certain way of being being greedy selfish sneaky oh deceptive lying thinking they're getting away with stuff doing stuff behind closed doors and just being uncouth trying to sneak out of a door i see a door there let's get a door message your door message when i see a door on any of the cards i'm going to be using this door deck this is the bond door message deck this person their favorite color could be red there's somebody here in a cloak that's in red this is your door message they're going into a dark room 
This could be a place to pray or something. Divine Guardian, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Pass this message on. In this deck, you're supposed to pass this card to somebody else. And then they pass it to somebody else. But I'm using it for this tarot readings. So when I see a door on any of the cards, I'll be using this. But your Divine Guardian is saying... That you're on the right path. You're being led to go down the right way. Somebody sees somebody's deceptive ways. And that they need to do a major rehaul. And the message here was already turned upright. I've already seen it. And it's the Ace of Pentacles. We're going to take that one. That's a new beginning. Somebody's going to have to let go of some kind of finances. Let go of thinking about just finances. Stop being greedy. I'm becoming emperor. Stop being controlling. Start trying to control the finances, trying to control an outcome. There is a new beginning that's going to be occurring in this situation. Okay. Now, the blessed message. God's favor and protection for us. All is the strength card. He's given us the strength to get our power back. To ask for forgiveness. To forgive the other person that harmed us and caused us to feel this heartache and pain that we went through. He has given us the strength to show this person what true love is and how to forgive and how to move on. How to not hold grudges. How to not throw stuff in people's faces about the past. How to let that stuff go and live in the now and plan for the future. You can't go back to your past and change your past. But you can change your outcome of your future. And it starts today, guys. It's by the actions that you take today that changes the outcome of your future. So if you don't like today and it ends and it winds up being like yesterday and it added up to 500 days of nonsense arguing and fighting and turmoil backstabbing you've had enough of that and you want to put it into it because god is protecting us and giving us a favor of giving us that strength that we need to get to where we need to go when it comes to our home i see a doorway here we're gonna get a door message a divine door message he is going to make our home a home that we're going to feel as if it is our home because right now behind closed doors we're not feeling like it's our home we're feeling weak fear like we're not strong enough to move on look at your door here we're going to open this door and this door says morning memory its healing gifts runs a destined course the morning dawn our inspired source meditate under the sun Take time to meditate, guys. Take time to go out and just close your eyes for a minute and listen to the sun. Hang out in the sun for a few minutes. Get a little bit of sunlight if you're inside being depressed and sad about something not going your way. you got to let that go. you got to get outside, start loving yourself, start beautying yourself up. Feel that warmth of the sun on your skin. Your other two messages are... The King of Swords, cutting away what no longer serves you, being very methodical, planning something out for it to turn in your favor. You're being protected by somebody that has air in their chart, or God is protecting you with the truth, the blunt, honest truth about a situation is being shown. Why is this King of Swords here, Spirit Guys, Angels, and Divine? Why is the King of Swords here? Thank you. King of Swords is cutting away a juggling act. Cutting away multitasking. Doing a lot of different jobs, tasks. Having to take money from one bill to pay another bill and not pay a bill. They're taking control of this chaotic kind of way of juggling. A juggling act or having multiple partners or being with someone that has multiple partners. They're cutting that away. They don't want to be in a partnership where there's multiple people. Oh, the Three of Swords comes back out. I'm so sorry for all you Aquarians out there that have gotten your heart broken. It hurts deep. This is the third. Let's see. How many? 
Yep, this is the third sword card we got. The third three of swords. So you've been hurt very deep three times emotionally, either by the same person or three separate people. You let three people in that hurt you and that were nothing but juggling in the world. And you're finally ending this painful, hurt way of being. Somebody being hurtful, not truthful, and honest in the situation. Your last message is the Princess of Swords comes in. So this person here could have been the one that caused this heartache. There was somebody here that's going to end this heartache, end a cycle of juggling, doing being a juggler. Or it could have been this Princess of Swords. She's not that mature yet. She's still a young page. Like She's the Princess. And she could have caused heartache and pain with her immaturity ways of being. Why is the Princess of Swords here? Why is the Princess of Swords here? Spirit God's Angels of Divine Rest, thank you. Princess of Swords is here because of faith of the Hierophant. Have faith in this situation, guys. Things are going to turn into your favor when you get to the universe. This person's having faith and they're going to take this chance and go down a certain path. This person is a very spiritual person and they put in a lot into spirituality trying to make themselves a better version of themselves and they're not taking that much action right now because they've already put three wands in and they're waiting for a person to come in with the fourth wand to have this happy home not be so harsh with the words in and out Ooh, the devil shows up so you guys get to get the devil deck come out this is the fallen angel deck so somebody here finally realizes somebody's toxic ways and they turn their back to it and they're looking out toward the boat and they're wanting to find somebody that has an equal kind of faith they have in a relationship. They don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that's toxic, that keeps bringing them down, that keeps doing bad decisions, that is harsh with their words, that is irresponsible in a sense. Why is the devil card here, Spirit Guys, Angels, and Divine? Let's Move all these out of the way. Why is the devil card here? To protect and just move on. Okay, I guess this one come out. And this is why I prefer small decks. In any of these cards because it's hard to shuffle when you have small hands ooh 48 transformation like I said there has to be some kind of major rehaul major way of changing a way of being has to happen and somebody's becoming wiser from the situation all around the message on the 48 transformation is a fundamental change is not only needed but perfectly possible if you open your mind with the wisdom card being here this message is about meditation. Meditation is your service guide through the problems you face. Pay attention to your dreams at this time. But a lot of you need to go within and meditate. I do have meditation videos. But there's a lot of meditation videos on YouTube. If you're watching this, you should be watching this video on YouTube. Because I'll be posting this on YouTube. I may post it on TikTok. I've started getting on TikTok short videos. So, hope you guys see what i'm saying about getting wise when it comes to this toxic situation a lot of you are transforming you don't want toxicity in your life anymore you're trying to walk away from that kind of behavior you don't want your somebody's being methodical they don't want to be someone that is harsh in and out this person may not have a horse but they're in and out running back and forth in and out the door and this person here they've been through a lot of emotional relationships that it's caused them to be cold and aloof and to detach their emotions. They're more logical now. They do have deep emotion for someone, but someone's backstabbed them so many times and hurt them that they're afraid of opening up to this person. Okay, let's get your main focus message. Ooh, mindful. Ground thinking. Keeping a clear mind. Hurtful thoughts is on your mind. Somebody's not letting go of this pain that occurred in this situation. Not letting go of this hurt like holding grudges not releasing something that wasn't good for them 
not trying to heal, having a difficult time trying to heal a broken heart at this time. Now your Jesus message, well, we'll do your angel message first. Get your angels, let me get this in here. Your angel message we have here it says imagination. Wow. Okay. Thoughts are the building bricks of life. For everything begins with a thought. Add creativity to your thoughts and you have imagination. Every castle starts as a castle in the air. This image is then grounded by architects and builders. The angels are inviting you to use your power of your creative imagination to expand your horizons and picture the life you want. When you hold a vision, the angels see the clarity of your intentions and open doors to help you. The angel wisdom guides you to decide your desired outcome. Be certain that you have the purest intentions. Then imagine your dreams and start the process of creation. Your affirmation is a picture positive outcomes for the highest good. So take that action needed a day at a time, guys. One step at a time, a day at a time, to achieve whatever this goal is that you're trying to achieve. Become wiser. You have an imagination. Everybody has an imagination. Imagine what it is that you want, and then every day, take little baby steps to get there. And eventually, you'll get there. The word Jesus, word, Jesus, loving word is, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Matthew 5, 9. Wow. If you do not want to get pregnant, I feel as if you may get pregnant, so do use protection at this time. A lot of you do need a lot of healing at this time. We're going to do a special meditation message just for you guys since you're having difficulty with healing your broken heart. You need to focus on some kind of creativity. Put your creativity passion into something and take it away from this heartache from this being alone thinking about the sad thing that happened and focusing your energy on positive aspects feeling happy and blissful being proud of yourself for doing some kind of goal and achieving it doing a task learning something new being more spiritual reading the bible more watching videos whatever it is to get your mind off whatever the sadness was okay there's your message your meditation message is the angel of inspiration. I feel radiant with inspiration. Inspiration is like a shower of beauty and grace that uplifts our vibrations in daily living. It allows us to discover happiness and joy in all we do. This happens when we open our hearts and minds to the wonderful flow of spiritual energies that guides us and opens a way in our consciousness. That's the angel meditation deck. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. And go check out this playlist and see if any of these resonate with you. And also, subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest uploads that I'm going to be doing. Especially this next coming up month, I'm going to be doing Christmas messages. And I hope you guys like them. And I do. I just saw my videos. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Make comments. Stay to the end of the shuffle so you can get your bonus links. And happy Thanksgiving to all you out there. And thank you for spending it with me. And always remember... Treat others and women be treated. God bless. Hello Aquarians. Thank you for joining me on Angel Works 7110. My name is Guys. And this is your Sagittarius season message for Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this message. If you've never seen my messages before, I do tell you I see here and feel. I use these cards as tools, and I do add GIFs to my videos. So check out the whole playlist so you can check out the creativity that I come up with on this channel. If you guys like it, please comment below.